uh, they do provide a stipend of 10,000 rupees. They also give you a certificate and this certificate will have the FSSAI logo. The topic that they are uh, offering is uh, food imports, clearance and licensing. You will be learning on topics such as food sampling and testing. This is Abel Vargas from Team Food Kira. If you are one of those students who are looking out for internships or project works uh, during your course or course duration of the, for food science or technology or any department that you're studying for. Well, today you're lucky that FSSAI, the, the Food Authority of India, uh, they have come up with an opening for internship programs uh, for starting from two months and it goes on till six months. And so before we start with directly going into the internship, I would like to just introduce what FSSAI is. This is a government organization. So this is a sole body that is responsible for taking care of every food regulations, uh, legalities, uh, food laws, food safety, quality assurance, everything that needs to be taken care of in terms of any food sector that is throughout the country. Now, this FSSAI has come out with an uh, internship program which will provide interns with unique learning opportunities in various areas of food regulation and food safety administration. So what are the criterias? Now the students pursuing a full-time graduate or a postgraduate degree from universities or institutions in chemistry or biochemistry, food technology or food science and technology, food and nutrition or microbiology, agricultural or horticultural sciences, industrial microbiology or toxicology, or public health or life sciences, biotechnology, fruit and vegetable technology and so on. There are also openings for business administration and management, including policy regulation, because this has to deal with food laws and the legalities of the land. They also do have uh, uh, criteria for people who are doing a PG diploma degree in journalism, mass communication and public relationship. If you are a person who is doing a, a bachelor of engineering or bachelor of technology, they specifically have mentioned only the third and fourth year students. Uh, are eligible to apply, not the first and second year students. Okay, this is for computer science, information technology, and software in, uh, engineering related stream. If you are a person or a student who is doing that course as your uh, subject, uh, they expect people from the final years or the last two years. Then you also have postgraduate degree, diploma, public policy administration, and this is only for the headquarters, which is uh, situated in Delhi. Then if, if you are a person who is uh, undergoing your master's or a bachelor degree in law, then also you can apply. And this is for particularly for the HQ, which is the headquarters of FSCA, which is in Delhi. Now, some important notes that you need to consider before you go start to apply for the internship uh, in FSCA. All the students who have completed, now the word completed is highlighted here. Why? Because their above mentioned courses are not eligible. Please keep this in mind. They are not telling if you have completed, you can apply. They are not saying that. They're saying if you have completed, you are not eligible. That means they want students who are still studying in their final years. Not they are not looking at people or students who have completed the course and looking out for jobs or internships. Multiple applications will not be entertained. Now there are various posts. Uh, opened up for internship programs and trainings across the country in various regions and uh, uh, regional offices, etc. So they have specifically mentioned if you are applying for one, you have to apply only for that. You can't just bulk or mass apply for all the posts available. All candidates to ensure that the place of internship that they are opting has the subject or the topic available with, with that place. That is in case of FSSA lab only, technically qualified candidates will be eligible. So before you go and apply, make sure what place you're applying for and whether the topic that they are willing to train or they are offering is something that you're looking for. For example, they have given you, if you are going for an FSSA lab, they specifically look at people who are technically qualified rather than someone who is not very well qualified in terms of uh, operating in a lab. And if you still have any queries related to the internship program, they have also given a link, which I've highlighted here which is internship FSSAI, fssai.government.in. The next one comes is the tenure. Tenure, how long is this uh, course? Now, many students in many universities or college or institutions will have different uh, durations or tenures for the internship programs. Some starts with one month, two months, three months, six months, and so on. Now, the internship will be available on quarterly basis throughout the year. Internship will be offered for a duration of minimum of two months, at least a minimum of two months 
uh, if you're looking for a program which is less than two months, they do not appreciate that or they do not accept that offer. But instead, if you are looking for something of minimum two months, which may be ex extended to a maximum of period of six months, no internship of duration less than two months will be offered. So some colleges uh, will say you want only one month internship to so try to get for one month from that. They do not uh, give you an offer for less than two months. Now, what are the different uh, topics that are being offered in, in the field of internship and where all are they opened up? The first one is the, the place of internship area or domain available for internship. Uh, first one is the, the, the region is the um, FSSAI headquarters, which is in New Delhi. Now, the subject and topic for uh, internship is science and standard regulations. Now, science and standard regulation is nothing but uh, food science related issues and standard food laws and regulations. Then you have the codex regulatory. Codex regulatory, nothing but codex alimentarius, we call it is the mother of all rules and regulations in the land, especially FSSI laws comes under the Codex Alimentarius. Then you have the Food Safety Management System, which is also abbreviated as FSMS. Then Human Resource, uh, Finance and Accounts, Import Trade, uh, then Quality Assurance, Legal Information Technology, Social Behavioral Change Training. All of these are offered up in uh, New Delhi, and this is only offered by uh, FSSI headquarters, which is in New Delhi. The next one is in uh, regional offices. Uh, this is not in the uh, main headquarters. This is in the regional offices like uh, Delhi, Mumbai, Chennai, and Kolkata. The topic that they are uh, offering is uh, food imports, clearance, and licensing. Uh, so you will deal morely or you will have an on-hand experience to or get information uh, dealing with uh, food import and export. What kind of food can be imported? What are the what is what what does the law say in regard to exporting such a kind of product? And what are the licensing formalities that a company or one must adhere to in case if he is uh, if he is a manufacturer and if he wants to export or bring in import another product to the country? So you will learn about clearance and licensing in regard to food products. The next one is uh, also in the National Food Laboratory (NFL). Uh, which is in Ghaziabad and Kolkata. In this, you will be learning on topics such as food sampling and testing. For food sampling and testing, you will have uh, technical, you, they would prefer technical uh, experience to people because you will have to know how to do some uh, technical uh, experiments in the lab. And uh, more, they are more concentrating on the food sampling. That is taking a sample of, from the food, we call it random sampling and spot sampling, where you take the food from a lot and you sample to check the quality. So how do I go in for food sampling? What are the various methods of food sampling you will learn? And also what are the various testing methods, quality testing methods that one can perform in order to evaluate the quality of that product. Then uh, the fourth one, uh, it's, it's also a, in Guwahati, which is the NFL Food Laboratory Extension. All right, there is an extension for the uh, National Food Laboratory, which is in Guwahati. And their topic is also food sampling and testing. Uh, some important dates that you need to remember, uh, dates uh, uh, which involves the application uh, initial uh, starting date, the end time, when can you see uh, whether you have got the offer or not, and the date of joining. So the starting date of receiving applications is 5th of December, which is today, right? The last date for submitting online application is 12th December 2022. From the link for applying uh, will be given up in the description box. Now, the announcement of shortlisted candidates, not everyone who's applying will get the offer, right? So they have a particular number of students they can take in. So based on that, if you are the lucky few who are going to get that and you, it will be announced, announcement of the shortlisted candidate will be on their official website. And the date of joining is from 2nd January 2023. Now, keep in mind, this is from 2nd January 2023 and the minimum duration is for two months and it can go or be extended up to six months. So what is the application process? Applicants who have applied for internship for previous months need to apply afresh. If you are someone who has applied in the previous batch and you want to, uh, you think uh, you want to apply for this, you have to apply fresh again, right from the beginning. It doesn't matter if you have applied previously and if you have not got it or not. The final list of the selected candidates along with the date of joining and the internship tenure would be declared online on the FSSA website at the website which is highlighted here. Now, at the time of joining, they expect you to bring a few documents with you. 
one is you will have to carry a letter from the institute indicating who you are whether what year you are studying in what is the course you are studying in so on a letter then a no objection certificate or an noc certificate which says from the institute stating that i am uh, that the institute or the guardian or whoever is concerned is okay and is allowing the student him or her to undergo the internship program in the field of which he has selected if applicable about the stipend now this uh, they do provide a stipend of 10000 rupees only per month for the internship period will be given to the deserving interns of the recommendation of officer division that they are attached with now suppose you have been selected if you have given the offer and the place and the division that you will be going to intern they will decide how much and uh, they have given a fixed amount which is 10000 rupees per month they will give it to you now the criteria for deserving interns uh, interns will be decided based on the attendance and the assessment by the respective reporting so once you are going going into the uh, uh, industry or the um, office one particular person will be assigned to whom you will have to report to all right they just don't give out money just because you have applied for the internship no you need to have attendance and you need to or be assessed by the representative of the person whom you are going to report to he or she will with the reviewing officer evaluates you and based on the evaluations and your attendance is when the um, the organization comes to a decision whether they can pay you the uh, full amount of rupees 10000 after that they also give you a certificate and this certificate will have uh, the fssai logo all interns will be awarded a certificate uh, on successful completion of the internship that is on submission and review of final report and presentation now please do keep in mind just because you have gone ahead with the uh, two months of uh, this thing uh, internship does not mean that you get your stipend money or your certificate they are looking at various criteria qualifying criteria which they will examine you with one is the attendance then is the the review based on the reporting officer the person who is going to review on how your work is And the next one is you will have to uh, submit a report and a presentation of what you have learned and done in the time duration that you have been allotted well if you find this uh, information uh, useful please do share like and subscribe it with your fellow colleagues and your classmates link for this whatsapp group is given down in the comment uh, description box uh, all you have to do is join that group and all the information regarding the upcoming uh, internships jobs webinars trainings and news updates everything will be available to you and it's absolutely free of cost so go ahead uh, start applying for this internship it is opened up today and it's only till 12 so don't waste your time and hopefully you guys get through one of those interns and stay safe and this is mr abel from team food kida bye bye